the confusing Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda, and I'll be your shopper today. How may I assist you? Should I pretend? I maybe. I don't know. Let's pretend. I would like to know your best selections. Any preference? Uh, something casual? Something stunning? Something stunning. Might I recommend you our best selection of dress shoes? What are you looking for? Uh, boots? Loafers? Leathers? Okay, we can't continue with that anymore. Uh, looking for you, actually. Sir, this is a professional service. If you're not looking for shoes, I suggest we end this conversation now. Mm, I think they might not talk. Unless they think I'm somebody important. I'm from the police department. Oh. What can I do for you, officer? Anna has gone missing. Huh. Uh, but I don't even know her. Something's not right. Who is this? Did Greg put you up to this? You know, it's illegal to impersonate a cop, right? I am a cop. Oh, really? Prove it. Can I prove it? What's this? From Brandon, I miss the days where your opinion can only go as far as you can yell. I don't think I'm going to be able to prove that I'm a cop. It's for Anna's safety. Fine. What about Greg and Anna? He just broke into Anna's apartment. Whoa. Hold up. Time out. Are you telling this right? I am quite positive. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. So, you two dated? Ha! Huh. More like a side girl booty call. He cheated. Oh yeah. I'm all in for some casual fun. But having a girlfriend all this time? That's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I ended up being the other girl. Oh, so having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. So <laughs> Yolanda didn't even know that Greg was cheating. How did it end? When it comes down to making a choice, of course he went for Anna. And I get the half-ass voicemail breakup. Hey, Yolanda. I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Like, immediately. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? Huh? No hard feelings. Dear God. You know how some people have punchable faces? Well, Greg has a punchable voice. So he is a two-timing bastard. So he is. At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. 
Now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. I gotta go back to work now. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. This is the police. Alright, I think... Oh. What's your deal? Seriously, where's your head at? Yolanda just called me. I'll get to you later. We've got two new videos. First of August. Oh my god. What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? And he can do it looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Then why would he... You know what? I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Love is being there. Love is being honest. Love is being belonging. Love is patience. Mm. Love is... I needed to clear something up. No. I don't care about your excuses. You've crossed a line. She's pissed and confused. And you brought her into this mess. I had to be sure. My personal affair has nothing to do with you. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now that it's out in the open, would you stop digging into my life and get back on track? Only because you ask so nicely. Just stop and use your head for just one second. Have you ever considered that what's-his-face from Spark is just dicking you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? Uh, he makes a lot of lewd jokes. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. He did ask for Anna's selfie. That is textbook creep move. Ugh. I can only imagine what he'll do with that picture behind closed doors. He did sidetrack the investigation. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along? And you said that I'm the one with things to hide. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. Um, hold on, is it, are these really my only two options? He's just eccentric or a nice guy if you can overlook those things. I don't want to say either of those things. I don't want to make excuses for that creep. Is there some way I could figure out whether they have um, a criminal record? Because there's only two options, which suggests to me that maybe there's a third option that I haven't unlocked or something. 
But then how could I do that? I don't have access to the like the databases like I did in the second game. Can I call up 911 and be like, hey? <laughs> Let me look around a bit. Okay, I have an idea that's kind of reaching. Um, Taylor lists their interests, and I can edit my profile, which I still haven't done yet. What if I edit my interests to be the same as Taylor? And then maybe that would allow me to find new people that would have matched with Taylor as well and can be like, hey, have you interacted with Taylor? Do you know them? Kind of roundabout, but it might work. So Taylor's into... Well, let me just unselect everything. Taylor's into theater. Is this alphabetical or... No, it's not alphabetical. I think it's just random. <laughs> Music. Outdoors. Pets and animals and gaming. Oh. No matches near you. Um. Uh, what if I said that I work at the same place that Taylor works at, which is fine studios. Hmm. What if I update my picture? I could impersonate Taylor, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know if I have a picture of Taylor. Like one that I could actually select. Yeah, no luck with Spark. Um, I did notice some numbers that I do want to call in our phone book, though. There's two in the phone book, and then I also want to call Detective Murillo. I don't think this is going to work, but I, I'm interested in finding out if they have a criminal background. Taylor, so maybe... Okay. Interesting. So from the book, uh, the address book, there's dad. Wait, what? That's not a phone number. still called, though. It contains letters. I mean, you can translate letters to numbers. I've never seen them entered as letters in the address book, though. Does it even allow it? Probably not. Maybe? I don't know. Those numbers must mean something, but I'm not sure what. 80S17 43X64. The other one is near the bottom, voicemail. Right. I guess he's a nice guy if you can overlook those things. That's not true. You disagree? I'm not the only one who thinks he's dangerous. Look what I found. Spark-related crimes soar as increasing number of felons use dating apps to target victims. Dating apps have been linked to more than 500 crimes in... In... In, in what? <laughs> In, and almost a third are sex offenses, figures show. 
More than 500 people have been the alleged victim of victims of crimes ranging from murder and rape to child abuse as a result of using popular dating apps, data reveals. The figure comes after several arrests were made linking the crimes they've committed to the popular dating app. The way we meet potential partners and casual dating has seen a huge change as a result of the internet, social media, and mobile phone apps. The chief executive of the, Na of the National Sex Felon website, NSFW, really, not safe for work is the acronym, James Sutton said, While online platforms such as Spark are making it easier for busy people to meet others, the risk of meeting someone who's abusive or physically violent also increases. It's concerning to see this rise in the number of crimes involving dating apps, and particularly worrying to hear of the number of young people falling victim to sexual offenses. He added, There are a number of ways to vet a potential date before you decide to meet them face to face, which could protect you from a risky situation. Firstly, pick a username that doesn't reveal who you are. Also, take things slowly when it comes to sharing personal information or content with someone new online. Remember that they are still a stranger who you know little about. Similarly, it doesn't hurt to do some investigation of your own before you decide to meet up. Now see if the person you're interested in is on sites like Jabber. In extreme cases, there's no harm running their names, uh, running through their names in our registry. Oh, they have a registry. Hell yeah. If you do organize to meet someone face to face for the first time, Make sure you arrange your date for a public place and ensure a friend or family member knows where you are and is at the end of the phone if things go badly. Finally, trust your instincts. If it doesn't feel quite right, don't be afraid to block or report the person, or leave the date before the end. The NSFW Registry is a publicly available database of registered sex felons that anyone can use. To feel safe about someone, just search using their name and a few basic details you'll find and you will find out the truth. You can find out more about the NSFW registry in the link here. It's a private entity working together with governments and communities to provide a safe environment for our friends and families. Concerned residents can utilize the search tool to identify information on sex offenders residing and working not only in their own neighborhoods, but in other communities. First name, last name. Taylor Pereira. More information required. Age and location. Oh, fucking Jesus. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> 22. Location. What is their location? Oh shit, I just typed in Springwood just because I remember seeing that somewhere, and it's a location in the second game as well, and apparently I was right. <laughs> okay. Lucky. They're on the list. Open and gross lewdness and... Lis How is that pronounced again? Lascivious? Lascivious behavior? Indecent exposure and public sexual indecency. Interesting. Sounds horrible. And true. You said that Anna matched with several people on Spark. Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I can feel it. We're getting close. Punch in all the names of her Spark matches. See what you can find. All the Spark matches. Okay. Okay, wrote down... All the people they matched with and all the details I could get from them in their chats. I think there's only two that I can actually really search for because only two of them actually have their full first and last name in their profile. I also have a new tweet. Josh, Josh Chen. Someone walked by me on the sidewalk and said, hello, freak. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll go here. So first one's Patrick. Oh, separate boxes. 
Patrick Matthews. No records found. Here's one that I don't think is going to work. Their name is just listed as Dave C. Probably not going to work. Next one is Edwin Bird. Mm, there's Stephanie. No last name. I don't think that's going to find anything. <laughs> So really nothing for both, but let me make sure I didn't misspell this. Really nothing for both Patrick Matthews, that is spelled right, yes. And nothing for Edwin Bird. Yeah, okay. I, I think I have to tell Taylor something, because I don't think there's anything else I can do. I did some digging on Greg. Awesome. Lay it on me, buddy. And I left him because he cheated. Ha! Huh. Caught red-handed. Or red fingered because it's in text. Oh, yeah, that sounded bad now that I typed it out. Who's the unlucky girl? Yolanda. Exotic name. Oh, shut up. This is good. I mean, bad for Anna, but good for me. Uh, us. This confirms my theory. Messy breakup, fight. Things got a little violent. Who knows? He's too much of a coward to hurt Anna. Seriously? That's what she said? I guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far-fetched. An asshole, but not a criminal. You sure Greg didn't let anything slide? Can your source even be trusted? You're sidetracking us all. Hey, Greg's keeping something about Anna. I can feel it. Are you jealous of him? No. Maybe. A little. I mean, he is my competition after all. How can I compete with an ex? This is not a contest. I know, I know. It started as jealousy, but I really think that guy is a nut job, and he's hiding some dark stuff. <laughs> like you? I got nothing to hide. You didn't find anything, did you? If you have something to say, spill it. You're a registered sex offender. Shit. I knew it. You found the damn registry, didn't you? I know it looks really bad. A guy on Spark being a sex offender is as bad as it gets, but hear me out, please. Alright, you have five seconds. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make it quick. Give me all the details. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so I was at a mall, and I had like a huge glass of iced tea right before, and I got a pee. Real bad. The bathroom was closed on the floor I was on, and the next one was really far away. I see where this is going. So I went into the stairway, and peed there. Uh, then this lady with her kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know... Lawyers were involved, and I was charged. That was your only crime? You gotta believe me. You can 
technically call me a criminal, but I would never harm another person. Come on, you can trust me. Said every guilty person ever. I'm not. I know it sounds weird, but this is not about me now. I have to follow so many strict rules from the NSFW that I'm practically branded. Do you know how hard it is to find a job? You can always lie about it? Nope. No way. I'm not pushing my luck. If I mess up, it's straight to jail for me. I would never do anything remotely illegal. So let's keep this between you and me, huh? I can't guarantee. Don't play with me on this, I'm serious. Um... Shit, I can't believe you actually did it. I just told you not to tell anyone. Wait, did it just get tweeted out or something? I didn't do anything. Greg. He added me on Jabber. Oh, he's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? I might have told him about you. God damn it. Oh shit, he added me on his phone. Busted. A group that Greg just created. <laughs> what? Greg, Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. Taylor, what the- who's this? How the hell did you get my number? Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure this isn't a timed response thing. They had those in the second game, but it doesn't seem to be a thing in the first one, thank god. Greg, shut up, rebound guy. I'm the one Anna should be with. You stay out of this. Taylor. Greg? Oh, here we go. Taylor, how the hell did you get my number? Greg, the internet is a resourceful place, especially for finding pervs like you. Taylor. Wow, from cheating to stalking. Can someone hand him the best boyfriend of the year award? Greg. What I do in my private life is none of your business. Taylor. You're the one who drove her away in the first place. Greg. How about I drive my foot up your dickhole? I think you guys are missing the point. Greg. We were all on point until shit for brains showed up. Taylor. Look, man. Anna wanted to move on. Why can't you respect that? Greg. She would be better with literally anyone else but you. Taylor. So Mr. I can't keep my pants up is somehow an acceptable choice for her? Greg. At least I don't have a criminal record. Taylor. That's a low blow, man. Eats popcorn. Taylor. Aren't you going to say something? Greg. I'm not done with you yet. What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her... Taylor, how can I do anything if I haven't even met her yet? Greg. She mentioned that she's meeting someone from Spark on her notebook. Taylor. Have you ever considered that there are literally millions of other lonely single men out there? Greg. Of course I did. And I'm starting with you. Taylor. That is not working smart. Greg. I just want her back. There's a smarter way to do this. Taylor, we're wasting time here. Now that you made it so clear, don't we all want the same thing? Craig, same thing, different reasons. Taylor, finally we're agreeing on something. Craig, no, I am not agreeing with you. You were the one that accused me and threw everyone off. Taylor, hey, it's not my fault that she left you.
Calm down, Greg. Greg, I will not be calm with him in the picture. Taylor, if you're going to be like this, fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Greg, fan-fucking-tastic, show me. Taylor, my spark messages. It's all there. It'll prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. I mean, who knows what hasn't been recovered yet on the phone. I, I can't say for sure. Taylor, what? Come on. Don't leave me hanging. Greg, I have another way to prove it. Her phone. She cleared some data not long ago. And she backed it up on her home computer and the one at work. If I can access it, I'll have all the proof I need. Taylor, whoa, I think you're onto something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Greg, damn, that's true. Taylor, finally, focus on what matters. You guys done fighting? Greg, no. Taylor, yes. What? Greg, not until I see the messages. Taylor, she's fine. Maybe we can somehow call her office? Ask around for help? Get someone to get to her computer or something? Greg, what kind of shitty idea is that? I'll just walk right in and get it on myself. It's going to be easy. Let's call our office first. Taylor, excellent. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into getting to her computer? Greg, we've wasted enough time already. I'm not playing charades to get something that important. Are you doubting me? Taylor, I'm just proposing alternatives. Both of you have good points. Greg, I'm done listening to you. I'm just going to walk in and get the job done, plain and simple. Taylor, that's too reckless. Let's find a more indirect way in. Just call one of her work friends. Greg, I know her better. She has no work friends. Taylor, what makes you think you can use her computer so easily? Yeah, nah, Taylor's idea is the best. Taylor, two to one favor. And that's how democracy works. I feel like we're becoming en sync. Greg, fine, be that way. I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I'm going anyways. Taylor, but we're making so much progress. Greg, I'm not working with the rebound guy. I'm going to find Anna by myself. Go get the backup from her workplace your way. I'll do mine. I swear, if she did end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Okay, so that just happened. Ah. Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I gotta do it on my own. Like, if we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. Okay. That was exciting. You're enjoying this a bit too much. A lead is a lead. We need to know who Anna is close with at work. Did you manage to check her emails? If you can read them all, that'd be great. Well, her boss is kind of an asshole. Not the boss. We won't have much leverage. Sure there isn't anyone else? Yeah, there is a guy who's harassing her, Merv. Harassment. Nailed it. We can use this. Are you up for some blackmail? I'm thinking what you're thinking. Use that email against him. Tell him that you're turning him in. Threaten him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for the harassment email. 
I can work with that. If he's in the contacts, we'll get started. Oh, it works. <laughs> sorry, sorry. N no need to respond. I uh, just want to try to call Anna's phone, see if it's working. Been trying to get it, and I, I finally did. I guess next is to find her? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. Bye. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, I think this is a good place to end it, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, we're going to blackmail Merv.